There is no health without mental health. Right now, we find ourselves in a youth mental health crisis. What we have to offer feels more one size fits all. And frankly, that one size isn't a good fit. When I was 11, I was living life as a normal kid and I actually lost my brother to suicide at that point. Being so young, I didn't really process everything that was going on and that didn't hit. Later until seventh, eighth grade, I started dealing with more signs of like depression and in ninth grade, my dad was diagnosed with ALS and that's when things just kind of started to go downhill a lot worse for me. When Lauren was in the partial program, they called me one day and said they really thought that she was in danger and that she needed to go to the, the emergency room, which is the CPEP. CPEP stands for Comprehensive Psychiatric Emergency Program. The challenge with running a CPEP to a scale appropriate for a community is there's a lot of rules. All of the rules are designed, intended, to have your facility be prepared for worst case situations. The other side of that coin, though, is not everyone who comes through the door needs all of that. And so then we end up when our quantity of patients coming in, adults and children, exceeds our capacity to do all of those assessments within a few hours. We get a backup and we get situations where people will spend 16 to 24 hours just for the evaluation. So we got in probably about one in the afternoon until four in the morning until we saw a psychiatrist. We agreed that I was gonna be discharged. I was gonna start back up at partial the next morning and that's when I had my suicide attempt and that's when things really changed for me. The current situation, the environment that we have to keep everyone safe is not nurturing, it's not calming. It has to include an intake process that for some who don't expect it can feel dehumanizing. When it's an inadequate size, when people are literally cheek to jowl, when you have to be there for 24 hours, it can actually make things feel worse, which is so far from our intent. Being admitted, you're stuck in CPAP until a bed's open and inpatient. So there were times where I was stuck there for four days. And that means I'm sleeping on the floor, I'm sleeping on the couches, it's wherever I can sleep. It's If I can get a shower, I'm lucky. There's one bathroom that all of us have to share and very discouraging to walk in there thinking you're gonna receive help and see that. Cause I wanted nothing to do with that place. We need to have facilities that meet the needs of our society today. We're not 20 years ago where people didn't talk about mental health. We're coming out of a pandemic where children are crying for help and we just don't have the resources in the community. And that's why this is so important for us to share our story, to help people engage, whether you volunteer or whether you donate money to the cause, it's all going to a cause that is much needed. Unfortunately, I'm not convinced this is the peak. I think that we will continue to see the impacts of the pandemic on development, on social development, on how people build resiliency for the normal stresses and anxieties of everyday life. Part of the need, the urgency that I feel is not just to treat the youth in front of us, so to speak, though that's enough. It's to prepare for what I anticipate to be an increased need in the next few years. So this new immediate access center, this is an innovation. It's an innovation in providing crisis care and connection with non-crisis care. The actual clinician you see, the type of evaluation you get is based on your individual needs. If what you really need is a nurturing therapeutic environment for your child to de-escalate and then a series of options for the right care we can make arrangements for that. We don't have to wait for a psychiatrist evaluation to be done for people to leave. It will be a individualized approach and process. Being able to change the setting will have an impact on the stigma as well. And I think it's gonna be a huge impact on making it okay to receive treatment. Just being here today and seeing everything that I've been able to achieve that I might have not been able to is 
a huge eye-opener to me. And being in my senior year of school and with nursing, I just can't wait to be able to work with patients in hopes that I can make a difference in some patient's life.